Hello. I'm Ian Chalmers. I was director of the National Perinatal Epidemiology Unit between 1978 and 1992. I'm very pleased to have been asked um, the questions that um, I've tried to answer, talking about ancient history of the NPU. It's um, wonderful the way that it has developed and thrived um, over the last 40 years, and I wish everyone who works in it and the unit itself all the best in continuing to do work which you find fulfilling and which is useful to the families using the perinatal health services. My name is Peter Brocklehurst and I was director of the NPU between 2002 and 2011. There's always going to be need for the research that the NPU does. Um, I can't see that that's going to stop. Uh, I think there'll always be a need for it, uh, both here and internationally. Uh, and I am sure that the NPU will continue to grow and develop and new people will come in. And um, I wish them all the very best for the next 40 years. Um, I'm sure I won't be around for the 80th uh, celebration, but I'm delighted to be here for the 40th anniversary of the NPU. I'm Jenny Karinchuk and I'm Director of the National Perinatal Epidemiology Unit here at the University of Oxford. I joined the unit in 2003, becoming Director in 2011. I arrived uh, two days before the 25th anniversary celebrations, uh, which was a great way to start a new job. And I came to be in the unit, um, it's quite a long story. Uh, I trained in Leicester, had worked in Leicester, then went to Australia, was in Australia for seven years, uh, came back to the UK, and um, I wasn't really looking to uh, move, but saw the post advertised for the MPU, and it was a great opportunity. And I think I was probably ready at that stage for a, a new challenge. And so I came down to the unit to see Peter and to meet the rest of the team and applied and was lucky to be successful to come and work in the um, MPU. I think one of the key aspects to the success of the unit um, is really underpinned by the quality of staff working in the unit and that's a staff of all sorts. Everybody uh, makes a contribution to the work that we do. And another important key element to the success 
is the the collaborators that we work with. So we work with a range of people around the UK and around the world and if it weren't for the involvement of our collaborators it wouldn't be possible for us to produce the successful research that we do. So I think the MPU will continue to be the successful institution that it's been for the past 40 years. Research into maternal and child health I think will remain key, it will remain high on the research agenda. There are many, many questions that we still have to uh, resolve and I think uh, places like the MPU are key to answering the key research questions that we know about now but that will also emerge over the next 10 years. Um, I think we have a, a winning uh, team here at the MPU and I'm very confident that uh, in 10 years time that the unit will be in robust health. I don't anticipate being here by then but my my goal is to hand on to a, a future successful director. So I have every confidence that, that the MPU will continue to provide high quality evidence which is important for policy and practice in the field of maternal and child health, ensuring that mothers, babies and families have a healthy future. So I'd like to take this opportunity and celebrating the 40th anniversary of the MPU to thank everybody who's worked in the MPU over the years and particularly thanking the current staff. It's uh, been a pleasure and a privilege to work uh, here in the unit, carrying out the research that we do, making a difference to the real lives of mothers, babies and families in the UK and beyond.